good meet good evening everyone <laughs> and a good meeting we're gonna have a great meeting right we are the gratitude time. girls <laughs> the gratitude girls are in the house in case you wanted to know we were in the house on our glory was on our corporate call so if you were watching you know exactly where Lori was and what she was doing and we're so excited that she was there on a panel on a very exclusive panel having a great discussion about all the things that are going on but we're here to give you a very quick coaching call tonight because we have to be in another room so <clears throat> let me tell you first who i am <laughs> my name is rara and i am sit sitting right here in niagara on the lake broadcasting to you live from niagara on the lake ontario canada and here is my gratitude girls partner lori del Verdecki, speaking to you from Tennessee. I, I am in Nashville, Tennessee. Awesome. And here's what we wanted to do tonight. And we will do it to a degree. We wanted to be able to talk to you about, do you want to be a high achiever? And we want to give you five tips. So we will give you high level five tips, and then we'll go into it again next week. What do you think, Lori? That sounds great. Okay, You're, you were speaking and I'm losing my voice. So here's what we'll do. If you want to get a pen and you want to jot these points down, and if any of them speak to you and you don't want to wait a week for the answers and the detail, just send Lori and I a message. Okay, five, top five tips to becoming a high achiever. Number one, have an amazing vision first characteristic to consider in achieving great things is to have the vision. I do this, Lori. We do this. Lori and I both have a business that we're doing coaching and training, and we each have our own separate businesses. I do this on a regular daily basis with any of the businesses that I'm in. Have a vision. It's so important. Lori, do you want to talk about point one or do, should we go into point two? Yeah, no, we'll just talk about point one, just really quick, but just mm -hmm. like, think about what do you want? Like what is going to entail in your vision? What do you like truly desire out of your life, out of your business, out of your marriage, out of your relationships? Do you have like specific goals that you want to think about? You know, do you have, do you have like a concrete plan? Like the traditional old way was work 40 years to get a little gold watch right and then retire and then sit around till you pass away right so the you know the world's a lot different now so do you have a concrete plan of what you really want good point we speak about this the second point almost every week create a plan we can talk to you about that a hundred different ways. But once you've written down your goal, make a list of the steps. Now you might say, I don't really need to do that. I'll just talk about food for a second. We talked about this last week. If we don't write the steps down, if we don't know what the ingredients are, what we need to do. And Lori, you spoke about this tonight on the corporate call, like Jordan, you quoted Jordan. If we don't put it in our agenda, then it's just not going to happen. So create a plan and write the steps and be as specific as you can. Would you like to elaborate on number two? Yeah, definitely. If you don't exactly that, if you don't plan it, it's not going to happen. So just like in your GPS, you're going to go on a trip we just got back from a trip to Bald Head Island in North Carolina. It's so great. They don't have any cars on the island. So I highly encourage you to go someday. But with that, we had to put it in the GPS, right? We went to go see my daughter first, and then we went on to the island. We had to put it in our GPS. If we just say, hey, we're going to go to North Carolina, um, we know it's somewhere to the east, right? And so we just get in the car and we start going east. We're probably not ever going to get there. We had to create the plan to get there with the schedule of, okay, we wanted to go drive this many hours and then we were going to spend the night in a hotel. Then we we're going to get up the next morning. Then we were going to see my daughter. We had to finish having lunch and visiting with her by a certain time. 
for us to make it to the dock where we had to park the truck to hop on the ferry and catch our tram. So all those had a schedule. And so I had to create a plan of when we were going to do what and how we were going to get there. Right. I'm looking at the time because we have a private coaching call. So here's what we'll do. I want to talk about that in detail. I really want to go into this. So let's high level the next three points and promise that we'll come back and read. I don't want to say redo this, but we really need to talk about that because when you talk about a plan, I really want to elaborate on that. You're such an expert at that. Okay. Number three, work hard and smart. You want to give a point about that? Yeah, just, you know, success doesn't fall into people's laps, right? Yes. And just because you work, 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 you know, doesn't mean you're going to get there either. You know, hard work is very good. And it's a very good, um, I lost my train of thought of what word I want to say, but um, uh, <laughs> character trait, right? It's a very good <laughs> character trait to have, but but it still doesn't mean that you're going to get there. So, you know, it's very commendable, but there's things that you need to do and you need to be smart about it as well. Great, great point. Perseverance. Now, some people might mistake that for something else, but become the kind of person who can persevere through the rough spots, leaning on others if you need. Lori and I do that with each other. It's perseverance. We lean on each other. It doesn't mean that one is not capable or one is more capable. It means that we continue to be there, to do, to show up, to trust. You don't have to go after anything, your dreams by yourself. We don't. So we can talk to you more about how to do that with someone other than the people you live with. Would you like to say something about perseverance? Yes, absolutely. I will just say real quickly that no matter what race you are, you know, that seems to be going on around a lot lately, right? But it doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter whether you're white, brown, blue, black, yellow, green, purple, orange, right? It doesn't matter where you were raised, where you were born, anything. Every one of us are going to go through tough times. Right. And the thing is, just like when you were learning how to walk and, you know, you crawl and you halfway walk, halfway walk, and then boop, you fall down. Right. Do you stay down or do you get back up and try it again? Or do you say this walking thing's not for me? I'm done. Right. You can just carry me the rest of my life. Right. So don't stay down for long. Right. Toddlers, babies, they get back up. And they learn from their falling over and they keep moving and they try it again. So remember that that you did when you were learning how to walk and remember that in your adult life, learn from your setbacks, learn from your failures, keep moving, move forward, get back up, pull up your bootstraps. And you're, you were speaking about diversity, equity, and inclusion. And you're right, that's so important. And our fifth tip, so. Tip one, have an amazing vision. Two, create a plan. Three, work hard and smart. Four, perseverance. And five, be generous. And I just want to say this. These are the tips if you want to be a high achiever. Lori, you want to close out with being generous? Yes, being generous is so huge. And in it, you know, it can be financially. It doesn't have to be financially. It can be your time. There's, there's so many different ways. There's, you know, we had a situation of somebody in our life that helped us with some things. And I told them that I was going to pay them this amount. And they did such a good job. I paid them way more than what I told them I was going to pay them because they helped us out and because they did a really good job and I know they need it. So, you know, you can do that, but you can also be generous of your time, you know, giving, going somewhere, helping someone do things. Um, Kevin's son and uncle 
uh, brother-in-law came to town, uh, my, his son's uncle came to town and they gave their time helping us get something done that we wanted to get done. So, you know, just giving of yourself in a lot of different ways and service to others is huge. And then don't forget to be grateful no matter mm, what. Good point. Such a good point. What, <laughs> do not forget to be grateful. Offer gratitude on a silver platter the entire way. Here's what we'll do next week. We'll talk about the pros and cons about being a high achiever. We're going into our private dining room right now with our private coaching call. We want to thank you, Lori. I want to thank you. Is there anything you want to wrap up so someone can get to us if they have any questions about tonight and they can't wait till next Monday when we come back? Yes, absolutely. So we are here every single Monday night, no matter what. So contact us, get with us, gratitudegirls.com slash coaching. If you want to find out about how to be invited to our private dining room that we are going into next, if you don't have the code or you forgot it somehow, text one of us, private message us, facebook.com slash gratitude girls. We'll get the message there and we'll get you right back with the code. So that way you could join us and we will see you all next week. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you.